So the ketogenic diet. I'll have to say I have a, a big love-hate relationship with the ketogenic diet. My hate is I just don't like anything that becomes a fad. And then you see like all these like crazy products that people are buying and that like that ketogenic diet is like the cure all for everything and that's gonna make you slim and all these. But when it comes to cancer and not even just breast cancer, but um, all cancers, the ketogenic diet, hands down actually, and this is like the craziest thing, even though I, I have this love hate relationship with the ketogenic diet, I'll have to say this might be one of my favorite cancer strategies. I'm not going to say necessarily that you, that people should follow it as a, a preventative, but uh, during, during cancer treatment, um, ketogenic diet can be very beneficial. So the reason being is, well, I'll talk a little bit about what the ketogenic diet is, because uh, one, it sometimes gets um, mislabeled as a low carbohydrate diet, which yes, it is low carbohydrate, but it's more so a high fat diet. We're talking about 60, sometimes 70% of your daily intake of calories coming from fat. So the high fat diet, what that means is it's causing our bodies to run on something different. So typically under normal feeding circumstances, our cells run on glucose. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna go into all like the biochemistry, but basically, by um, long periods of having a higher fat or ha having a very high, high fat diet, it basically teaches the cells of our body to metabolize ketones. And that's where the name ketogenic diet comes from basically because it creates ketone, these ketone bodies. Why that's so significant when it comes to cancer is cancer, cancer cells only know how to run on glucose. So, if you're not giving the cancer cells food, glucose, and you're giving your body food, not the ketogenic, or ketones, uh, you will see um, aggression of tumor cells. And there's been so much great research really supporting ketogenic diet as a part of, I mean, it's again, all my recommendations as far from the naturopathic um, standpoint are not a standalone, meaning uh, I wouldn't necessarily say you can like go on the ketogenic diet and like not go through chemotherapy. I'm not, that's not what I'm suggesting, but we are showing really great results when it comes to tumor regression. And also um, even in some cases, patients being able to reduce the amount of chemotherapy agents in comparison with those that do not follow the ketogenic diet. Uh, it is not an easy diet to follow. Um, there's a lot of, real, this is why, this is I think where my hate comes from, <laughs> is there's really bad information on the internet and there's some really bad products out there. Uh, I really believe, and this is my own, me, of course, it's my own opinion. Um, if you're gonna follow the ketogenic diet, you need to work with a dietitian, a naturopath, a nutritionist, somebody who has um, trained in the ketogenic diet who can give you a really good plan. Um, something that I've worked with with some of my cancer treatments and my cancer patients is I do use the ketogenic diet, but I give something very specific to them because everyone has different needs. And there's, and even though it's, I, I show this piece, this stick of butter, <laughs> that would not actually be my idea of a ketogenic. I mean, yes, it's high in fat, but um, when it comes to, and I'll talk about this um, as we progress, um, I, I don't advocate uh, animal dairy as part of um, a treatment plan for a breast cancer patient or actually anyone who has a hormone, sp hormone specific cancer, though there's other fats that I would recommend. Um, so it is very important to work with someone who knows what they're doing because otherwise it's, I'd say it's somewhat of a waste of time um, and it's not a fun diet. And um, the last piece I'd also say is that it would be temporary. So this isn't, the, the idea wouldn't be that one needs to be on the ketogenic diet indefinitely. I mean, there's probably some people that would argue with me and they have a different opinion on that. Uh, but uh, this is, yeah, this is not something that you would have to be on definitely. But for it to work, um, it has to be done 100% and it can be really worthwhile because I actually have seen it in my practice really make a big difference. 